Hello, everybody. We are live, Gail. I'm Alicia, and it's four o'clock. So it is the 411 at four. And today we're talking with Gail Andrus from WCDA. Hi, Gail. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Alicia's birthday. So make sure you send her something saying happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Gail. Um, it's been a great day. It's been real fun. My team has spoiled me and my husband is spoiling me with steaks tonight. Ooh, so I'm really excited. Lucky you. And something he made for me. I cannot wait. <laughs> Um, okay, Gail, I love that you've been with WCDA for 30 years. So tell us about kind of how it started and kind of your progression there. Um, believe it or not, I had been in the servicing business at Provident Federal. I had left there because they were going under. And I went to work for a trucking company and my old boss from Provident called and said, hey, want to get back into servicing? And I was ecstatic because I absolutely love servicing and love working with borrowers. So I came, applied at WCDA, was hired. Um, I started out as a mortgage servicing officer, worked up to an assistant manager position and have been the director, I can't even tell you how many years to be honest, have been the director of servicing um, for quite some time. So I, I love it, I love what I do and I love what WCDA stands for. So, yeah, I think it's absolutely amazing program. Um, okay, so how have you guys kind of changed since all this has happened in the last few days? Okay, so as the lobby is closed, as most places are in town, so we still offer Dropbox service. Um, if a borrower has to pay by cash, we do ask that they make an appointment. We have them put the cash in an envelope, and then um, with their loan number and their name, the amount they're putting and put it through the Dropbox, and then we'll mail them a receipt. We prefer to have money orders cashier's checks, but some people just can't get that done. So we're still trying to be accommodating to cash as best we can. We do check by phones. Um, normal fee is $7, but we are trying to be kind about that. If someone can't do that, we certainly don't have a problem waiving. And as we've promised for a long time, I believe our online system, online payment system will be up, I would say no later than Monday. So I'm really excited about that also. So um, beyond, besides that, WCA is doing business as normal. We are still doing loans. We are still doing government loans because we've heard that some people are saying we're not. Um, I know you're going to have Carol Wilson, the director of our single family side, as a guest probably next week, and she'll go in more into that. But WCDA is doing business as normal, buying loans, servicing loans, and just trying to help our community. And you're all doing kind of a special um there's no late payments right correct for april we have suppressed all late payments thank you for reminding me of that no and then we'll see what happens in may but for april there is no late payments at all we also are suppressed not what suppressing credit if you enter into a forbearance or an agreement with us your loan will not report late to the credit agencies either so again just ways to help out in this time so since you mentioned forbearance, what is forbearance? So la a few weeks ago, they initiated the CARES Act, which was a program that we applaud them doing. It is for loans that are federally backed. Um, and what that means is if you cannot make your payment, you just need to send WCD an email or letter, quick and brief, and say, I was affected directly or indirectly by COVID-19 and you can stay by losing my job, um, curtailment of income, one spouse lost a job, whatever it is, that's all we need from you. And we will respond back and let you know that we have received your email and we will be mailing you an acknowledgement in three to five business days for you to sign that says you are wanting to go into this forbearance. Forbearance doesn't mean your payments aren't due eventually. It just means right now during this hard time, you don't have to make that payment. And then once you're able to go back to work, you can send us an email or call us or send us a letter and say, I am able to resume my normal payments. For FHA and Fannie Mae, if you're able to resume your normal payments, then we can um, put you on a partial claim, which means those insurers will pay that arrearages to the servicer and then put a second or third, depending on how many liens you have on your property, as a um, deferred mortgage. It's for 30 years. It's only due at maturity if you pay your loan off or you refinance. 
course, we encourage anybody to pay on it as you can so you don't have that arrearages. Um, same as you and I discussed, if you're on a forbearance, but you have a little bit of extra money each month, go ahead and send it in to us. We're going to put it in unapplied and we're going to count that against that um, arrearages so that you don't owe so much at the end. For other insurers, such as um, VA and RD, they're going to probably have us at this time, things are changing daily, where you could qualify for other loss mitigation programs. It could be a modification, a repayment plan. It's really just going to depend at the end what your financial status is at that time and if you're able to resume your normal payment. If somebody got a new job, but they're making less money, they might not be able to resume that normal payment. So that's when we would have to um, most likely ask for your financials and that and qualify you for maybe a modification and lower your payment for you. Some of those modifications allow us to put that arrearages in that modification and extend the term back out. So there's some really good programs right now. So <laughs> is there an impact on that? No, there is no. So WC Aries has the deferred second. So mm -hmm. say you have the deferred second, that partial claim mortgage would go on as your third and it's at 0% interest. So you're basically just paying back a principal amount over, you know, 30 years or when you would pay off or refinance. So there's no monthly payment on it. It's just due at maturity, pay off or refinance. And so it's really important to note here that this is WCDA only, correct? It's not all the way across the board. And so Gail and I have talked, you know, when you're signing these documents, you have to make sure that you are reading what you're signing so that you don't get into something you can't get out of, right? Correct. Correct. And if you have questions, if it's one of our customers and you have questions, call us before you sign it. We would be happy to go over again what the options are. If you're with anyone, any other servicer, I'm sure they are the same way. Just call them, ask them what programs they have available. And once you get that document, if you don't understand it, call and ask. That's what we're, you know, that's what we're here for. Luckily, WCDA doesn't have a call center. When you call WCDA, you speak to us, you speak to a person. And we're really wanting to help you understand what you're signing and understand um, how we can help you. We are going to continue calling you um, unfortunately, our sure insurers require us to make calls every month if you're not making your payments. But our calls are going to be more like, how are you doing? Are you able to start making payments? You know, we don't want somebody to go six months or a year if they're able to start making payments again. So each month or at least at 60, 90 days, we'll start calling you to find out how you're doing and are you able to start making payments again. And I hope other insure or other servicers are doing that also. Really forbear last review, right? If you can make your I'm payment, sorry. forbearance should be used as a last resort. It's not if you can make your payment, you should make it, correct? Correct. So what we're asking, and I'm sorry, at least you're cutting in and out on me a little. Um, if we are telling people if you can make your payment, you make it as long as you can. Once you're not able to make that payment, give us a call, send us an email, and ask us for the forbearance at that time. Um, we have some that have already requested, but they're current for April. So we just reply back to the email that says, hey, you don't want to use a part of that six months up if you're able to make your payment. So contact us when you can't make the payment. And we put that forbearance plan in effect immediately. So it's not like you have to wait 10 days to get it. it. It goes into effect when we receive your request. And the, one of the reasons you don't want to use it unless you have to is because that kind of eats up some of your equity. Yes, it would. If you went to sell your home or refinance later, that second or third mortgage absolutely is part of what you have to pay back before you get any money out of your home for selling it. So you don't want to use it if you don't need it, but it's also there if you do and not to stress over, I'm going to lose my home. That's what we keep hearing. I don't want to lose my home. We've had borrowers that just closed in the last three to four months and lost their job. We don't want borrowers to stress over that. You need to take care of your health, take care of your family. And so if we can ease that burden a little, let us do that for you. I just love it. 
Um, what other things, is there something else that you would love to tell us about WCDA or about this process? Um, I think the biggest misconception is that, you know, we've heard where WCDA isn't willing to give us anything or willing to help us. What I would like people to understand is our loans are insured. So we have to follow what HUD or Fannie Mae, RDVA, any of those say we have to do. Um, if we don't, then we could lose not only the rearages you didn't pay, but if we had to foreclose, we would be out that whole loan. So we are here to help. We just have to follow the guidelines that those insurers set forth and that the federal government has told us we're to do. If we could give everybody free money, we would. <laughs> but unfortunately, we wouldn't be in business. So, you know, just know that we're doing the best we can to help you and know that my staff, they're trying to be honest and upfront that these are not forgiven payments. These are payments you will have to pay back at some point, but you're not going to be expected to pay it at six months. I know that's been another concept we've heard is in six months, I have to pay it all back. That's not going to happen. You, you know, you have six months. If you're still not back to work, we can extend that forbearance another six months. So I think just more than anything, I just want people to know we are here for them and we're trying to do the best we can to help them through this stressful situation. And you're real busy talking to people. Huh? You're, to, you're busy talking to people. Yes, our phones ring all day long. Um, you know, our phones turn on at nine and they shut off at 4.30 and they're, if somebody has a private line, they're still ringing. Our emails are working 24 hours a day. So we're responding to emails at six in the morning, um, some at six at night. So, you know, we're, we're trying to be available for our customers the best we can. Awesome. awesome. What is your message of hope to the people in our Casper area? So in this time, we need our friends, our community and our kindness. Um, I first want to thank foremost, the frontline people, they're our heroes, mm -hmm. but there's also the heroes behind the scene. Those of us working in our offices, trying to help our customers, the bankers trying to make it feasible for you to keep your loan, the real estate agents doing this type of stuff so that you can get the information out. So, you know, there's the frontline heroes, but there's what I call the backline heroes too, that are really trying to help everybody. So reach out to anybody for help, keep in contact with your family, um, you know, I've always had this saying that I, I was told a long time ago, and it says, think of giving back as the rent you're paying for living on this planet. So help each other, support each other, and be kind to each other. And we'll make it through this. We're Wyoming strong. We've survived a lot. And I really know Wyoming will survive this. Me too. Yeah, we just have to take care of each other. We have to take care of each other and, and really just be kind to people you see. You know, they're going, you don't know what's happening at home when they're stressed out at the grocery store or that and the grocery store workers, oh, please thank them. They are, they are working right there every day to make sure we have toilet paper, food, you know, so just, be, just be kind. <laughs> I know. I still, I still wonder how people are out of toilet paper. Um, I know. I just don't know where they have the room to put it all. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess we have something to laugh about, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing. Humor. Don't lose your humor. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, we have we have some. There is some good humor on Facebook that gets you. There, yeah. I mean, really, just gets you laughing sometimes. So. And you know, we've had some great customers. They they have just joked with us. They've sent us cute little things. They've thanked us. And you know, those little things go a long ways mm -hmm. when you're. Um, you know, hearing day after day, people are losing their jobs. It's really stressful. Mm -hmm. So to have those borrowers that actually thank us is, and my staff, that means a lot. We really appreciate it. And we thank them for communicating with us what's going on. So mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Gail. I love this. And again, if anyone has any questions about your WCDA loan, just reach out to WCDA. I know that they, you know, they want to help you and they want to make sure that we all get through this together. Yes, and we do have on our Facebook, we have how you can go about um, getting the forbearance, how to contact us. So please reach out with any questions, call our office, um, reach out directly to me if you want to. That's fine. We'll be happy to answer. Okay. And I hope you have a great birthday. Thank you. Thanks, Gail. Thank you. Have a great day.